How will this make a difference mm -hmm. in children's lives in Hamilton County? It will be a place where um, non-court involved kids or non-delinquent kids can have respite, can be safe, can receive mental health care, and can receive um, medical care without having to come through the court and be adjudicated on a felony, which is sort of where we're at right now. That is the promise of what Hillcrest Academy will become when it reopens in the fall. Hamilton County's presiding juvenile court judge, Carrie Bloom, is spearheading the effort to reimagine a place that for 109 years has been a residential school for delinquent children. Hillcrest Academy has been closed since August. The organization running the facility ended its contract early. It was amid a lot of controversy. It followed the arrest last May of this woman, a staff member at Hillcrest, who is now charged with having a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old resident there. She pleaded not guilty and is scheduled to stand trial in February. But the damage was done and the county severed its relationship with the company that had been running the facility for nearly 10 years, right of passage. I spoke with an executive there today who said the move was unexpected. My goal and purpose with the Hillcrest property is to make a difference for as many kids as we can and as many families as we can. Moving forward, Judge Bloom is putting out a request for a proposal to reopen the 88-acre facility, not only as a school for delinquent children, but also a mental health treatment center for children and a drop-in center of sorts, a place for respite care, where children can go who might be victims of home abuse, homelessness, or even human trafficking. We want to provide a respite space for kids who need a place to come and be safe. What are you hoping that this new facility will do in order to fix this epidemic of violence among juveniles? When you give kids up front in their adolescent years what they need, you treat their, their mental health, their medical health, you give them some wraparound services, and you can do some family therapy too. We can prevent future court and police contacts. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.